This is all about mindfulness in league and how you can use your third eye to be able to glimpse into your games and be able to mold them how you would want to mold them. This is actually really important and this is something that I've used for um, about a year now and I feel like it's really helped with my gameplay a lot so I'd appreciate it if everybody would just listen with an open mind and actually take this seriously because I have a lot to say and I really don't appreciate it whenever people act like this is a joke because it's not. Um, this isn't a joke. Psychic abilities is something that people have practiced for years and there's actual scientific evidence that shows that it is true. So please um, just look at it with an open mind. Thank you. Um, this is Mindfulness in League. Psychic Empowerment for League of Legions players and the heart and the soul. As a top League of Legions player over the years, I have realized that I have something a lot of other pro professional players don't have and hardly even begin to think about. Okay, And I have a full consciousness of the game. And I'm going to kind of explain a little bit more what exactly that means. I'm going to explain a little bit more exactly what that means to me, but having a full consciousness of the game is something that very few players have experienced and no professional players that I know of besides me have actually experienced it. Um, I believe that having a full conscious of the game as well as a mindfulness it has increased my gameplay in ways that other top players have yet to even be able to experience. What does this mean? I'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering what having a full conscious of the game is and exactly what it feels like. Um, I believe that around a year ago I reached what I like to call a metamorphosis. And in that metamorphosis, I was able to um, play. Not only, not only did my actual real life increase, but it also um, increased my gameplay. And it did this um, about a year ago. And my gameplay dramatically increased once I had a full feeling of consciousness and awakenedness. Um, I was an extremely good player even before I reached my metamorphosis, um, but I'm playing even better than what I was before. What having forethought in a game has done for me, okay? And like I've said, this is the power of forethought. And with the power of forethought, that's going to be able to help you um, quite a bit being able to look into your games because you're going to have a clairvoyance and you're going to have an enlightenment. Because of gaining consciousness and exercising my psychic abilities, I have been able to predict League of Legends games, which has allowed me to counter play as well as mold the game in my favor. I am now going to uncover what I have found through my psychic abilities to be a normal sequence of events in average League of Legends game. So basically what I'm telling you here is I'm going to go over what I have found to be the normal sequence of events through my psyche. Okay, this is through my psyche. This is the sequence of events that I have done in over a hundred different League of Legends games and normally the prediction of the game ends up the same. And I'm going to kind of show you guys throughout my games tonight how I'm able to predict them and how I'm able to use my foresight to look into the game and kind of know how to play around it in a way that's going to be both mutual. This is phase one. We're going to go over phase one in just a little bit. Um, right now I'm in queue and um, what I'm in queue for right now is the phase one of League of Legends and I'm going to kind of go into this a little bit more in depth. But the phase one of League of Legends is one of the most important phases in the game because what it does is it brings you from the human world to the spirit world where you will be playing your champion. 
this is the champion select phase, phase one. Um, players choose what champion they are going to play to take them from the physical world to the spirit world where you exist as your champion. And I have found that normally this is the sequence of events that happens in most games. So players can give off auras based off their IGN, um, the way they speak, their attitude. Um, different auras can tell you how they are going to play. Um, an example is a red aura um, would be a feeder, whereas a black aura would be a troll and a blue aura would be a smurf. Those are the different kind of auras that players can give off. Once you have opened your third eye wide enough, you gain a clairvoyance, and that allows you to know when dragons begin appearing. Um, I have found that the dragon is normally going to appear within two to five minutes on the map. Um, I've also found um, that Baron is going to probably appear between 12 and 16 minutes. I'm going to say this game, the Baron will probably appear right at the 15 minute mark and it will begin probably reappearing after that every six minutes from its death. Um, this is a really important part of being able to exercise your third eye because as I've said, it's going to give you a glimpse into the games and if you do it well enough you'll be able to you'll be able to know when it's happening before it happens opening up the third eye at this point i'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering what you can do to gain this level of consciousness on league and how i have been able to do it I will now give you tips on different ways you can gain consciousness in League of Legends game. Breathing. Breathing is very important. Um, you have to be able to breathe in from your diaphragm. So just breathe with me here. from the bottom of your stomach and with this you will start feeling a rhythm in your head and this is called a circadian rhythm um, this will help you get out of your physical body and into your champion's body god bless you thank you Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for the tips. 